connect with Mr. Venkatesh, who is recently selected in DRDO as a scientist. So this video will be, you know, full of information for those aspiring students who want to join organization like Bark is DRDO ahead in the coming time and they are struggling and has. So Mr. Venkatesh, first of all, congratulations, finally getting thank some you. prestigious and respectful position in DRDO. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, so can you please introduce and tell our viewers in brief about yourself so that they can relate with you when you completed your education and then how onwards your career proceeds? Yeah, uh, uh, my name is Venkatesh. I am from uh, Andhra Pradesh. Vijay, uh, I am from Vijayawada. Uh, I completed my VTEC in Electronics and Communication uh, in the year 2014. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then uh, uh, after I started, uh, after that I started preparing for gate and uh, so uh, Then I um, joined in Bharat Electronics uh, in Machili Patnam unit uh, as a trainee engineer. Okay. There uh, we have worked on uh, thermal cameras, okay. like uh, night vision cameras for uh, uh, border security force. For how much duration you worked there? There I worked two years. Two years. Okay. Then next. Yeah. Then again, uh, I came to Bangalore, uh, uh, Bharat Electronics headquarters. Okay. Uh, here I joined in uh, R&D center of P. Okay. So here, uh, premier, uh, it is a research site for Bell. Uh, here we are doing RF simulation works, RF design works. Okay. So uh, actually this RF uh, uh, experience, it helped me a lot. Uh, in the selection of DRDO. Okay. So that can, uh, I can say. So I, 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 project, I projected myself uh, as I experienced in RF side. Okay, so, great. So, okay, you know, yeah. when, when did you write the gate exam? This was through gate. First screening was through gate, right? Yes. yes. On which gate school? On which year gate school? 2020. 2020. So, okay. 2021 gate score you used for this, right? Yes, yes. So what was your gate score then? There I got gate score around six, uh, 680. I okay, think. so that was a very good gate score. And why didn't you go for MTech? Uh, actually, uh, that year itself, I appeared for uh, ISRO exam. Okay. So that time I, I cleared ISRO exam. Okay. So I'm, see, uh, that time was COVID time too. I'm okay. seriously preparing for uh, ISRO interview. Okay. So okay. Uh, I, I I didn't join them. Take care. Okay. Great. 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 Uh, okay. So I tell, always tried for job only. Okay. So tell me basically how was uh, the preparation for descriptive paper? Have you prepared something separately or only the gate preparation was enough? Uh, gate preparation was a uh, different uh, compared to this uh, descriptive exam. Uh, okay. Uh, most of the uh, most of uh, aspirants are preparing like that, but uh, here uh, we have to prepare more e MFT microwave and uh, mm, this communication. Okay. So mostly we have to prepare microwave and MFT. So they ask that questions. Hopefully, okay. uh, that helped me a lot. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm preparing continuously from uh, ISRO uh, exam onwards. Okay. For last uh, two three years. Okay, so finally, it's a sense of relief. You're getting some, you know, fruitful outcome. Hey? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, that's great. That's great. See, I always tell students, don't leave your preparation. Keep preparing, right? Someday, for sure, your turn will come if you are preparing with honesty. So now, yes. can you tell me brief about your interview experiences? How many people were there and what was the duration and how it started and what kind of question they asked and which area they focused? Yeah. Uh, uh, in the interview room, there were five members. Okay. Uh, I, I think a uh, center person was a chairman of uh, the panel. Okay. Uh, two, uh, two are uh, IIT professors. Okay. And uh, two are from two are the senior scientists from the DRDO. Okay. So I I I have seen one digital communication professor from IIT Bombay. He was, okay. I think he is a mercant. I think mercant from IIT. So uh, uh, when we enter into the room, uh, chairman started introducing uh, candidate to the panel. Okay. Uh, by reading our 
whatever bio data from our application okay uh, so meanwhile uh, when we are telling uh, he started asking uh, you tell about yourself from like that chronologically so my, when we are telling they are uh, start writing the, in the uh, whatever notepads they are carrying all five members okay they started noting what we are telling okay so i i started about myself and education and then experience so they started noted that then later on they are asking that question only okay that question only and uh, chairman asked me uh, what subject you have prepared like that. okay uh, yeah that is, that's how it started okay so what all technical areas they focused is it totally related to your work experience or some subject knowledge they also asked uh for me uh, they asked 90% on experience only okay so what kind of question can you brief some question yeah i can recall that uh, uh when uh, chairman uh, started interview uh, he asked what subject you prepared i told uh, that uh, uh, I, exp uh, I prepared according to my experience so i told microwave engineering and uh, radar and just radar and microwave engineering and digital communication okay. as soon as i told digital communication he directed to digital communication professor so um, that digital communication professor he is cooperating very well okay he is cool, very cool and calm he started asking on digital communication that questions were related to a bayes theorem and uh, uh, ma uh, he started asking uh, map criterion okay and uh, optimum thresholds detections uh, what is uh, a posteriori probability okay and then and then asked uh, about channel capacity theorem about bit rate okay uh, uh, yeah bandwidth <clears throat> how can we improve bit rates and bandwidth by mra modulation okay they they started uh, in a single question they are um, going in deep like uh, why we can't increase uh, spectral efficiency if we increase spectral efficiency what will happens uh, if we keep on increasing mra what will happen like a p probability of error getting chance will be more so then what can you do so i like one chance is we can increase power so like that they are asking okay great great yeah that was the digital so they asked thing. totally question from the communication rf and microwave not question from the other subject no so okay so finally what was your conclusion that how one should prepare for interview how the preparation for interview is different from the written preparation what is your viewpoint on this uh i i prepared uh, all the subjects i prepared all the subjects uh, uh before that i prepared digital communication as it is always my favorite subject and then mft and microwave uh, and then i get guidance from interview this guidance also okay uh, and then i covered brushed up some edc analog basics uh, in that i was a little bit okay so uh, in, in, uh, coming to the uh, preparation for interview uh, different from exam point of view i started uh, making a note on uh, for different different subjects but uh, some important questions whatever i i got from uh, previous preparations previous exams interviews so i started noted down them uh, and then current uh, some questions i am getting from the uh, those who appeared right so i noted them so uh, mostly i prepared from uh, internet uh, and uh, so from uh interview guidance program from your pd also right so, yeah i got questions from uh, questions for rf and uh, micro questions i revised them right right, right. yes yes uh, basically i can say that if we are telling something answer to them they will ask uh, the next point to them right they are linking so i in that way i prepared i can say when we are preparing anything uh, i started questioning on that what is its history why it is evolved uh, why we need that why we are going to that uh, what are these advantages and disadvantages of any right, right. technological evolution so i started questioning about each and every concept like that right 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 right, right. Yeah, that it was a long journey from 2014 to 2023 ha huh? yeah. 
yes yes so finally see i believe whatever effort you put they all have you know concluded and now resulted into a fruitful destination for you i'm sure yeah. you know you will continue putting effort ahead and you know make your family and us more prouder by working in the drdo right so yeah. we wish you all the best on the behalf of the your pd education thank you thank you okay thank you i i'll say thank you okay thank you okay